All right. So let's get started. So as you know, clearly that I trade lows, highs, which um, to me are the, the true essence of the market structure when we're dealing with market structure. Um, I've said it to students before that these moves, the, the um, highs get broken, lows get broken and retested on every time frame. This is no exception to the rules to any time frame. So we do binary options practically the same way. For an example, this is Eurochef. I just randomly got on here. Eurochef is on a downtrend, right? We have nice little support right here. It is holding up. It probably gets broken because a uh, chef has been beating Euros, but um, here is pullback area that it would have to come back to see just imagine that you're looking at the h4 All right see it's respecting it's gonna start heading back up um you did a binary right there um euro chef so weird looking not really pair that I look at the, at the lot. I mean, on higher time frames, it's been dropping, 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 dropping. But look, put your levels in on the M1, and you, you know I use frackles. Frackles are on my support and resistances. And then you just sit and watch and see what happens. You know, you could trade off of this, this too. It's M1, let's say we would put a trade in to go right here. I'm just hypothetically, I didn't do any markups or nothing, but M1 fast is fixed, is sick. Um, what was it? 6.51 a.m. If this wasn't, let's just say it was the H4, you'll be looking to take the trade. Have some little discrepancies right there. Something going on right there, but not too worried about it. But see, on the M1, you could do the same thing. So you can take M1 trades. You'd be in and out of the market faster. See, so if we got into this trade, we would be in profit a tad bit. Maybe the spreads would be looking, um, probably wouldn't be too good on the spread wise on some brokers, but you'll be in profit right now. Um, the fact of the matter, now that I'm looking at it, it's kind of surprising. Um, where is uh looking for a is it the, okay? It's the curve. You know, when I see price action. Doing like a little curve, but look, we're losing this trade. We're in drawdown. And then we have a bearish golfing candle on the M1. So this is going to drop and break that support. Mike. <sighs> yeah, so it's going to break that support. Look like. Wasn't trying to, the whole idea was to show you, um, you're looking for the same, you're looking for the same stuff on, on the M1 that you do on the M4. So, 
obviously, just for illustrations, we're we're in a losing, we're in drawdown. Um, stop losses down there. So if this was the H4, and you got in this trade, and you had this support, the support looks like it got broken. Or uh, we'll see. Let's see, this looks could be deceiving. Retest candle or whatever. Or oh, hey, let price action do what price action wants to do. I, I, I learned that a uh, very long time ago. So look, rejection. Now we're back in profit. Let's just see if this trade wins. I don't have it on my phone or anything. I didn't put this in. Yeah, I didn't put this trade in. So let's see what happens. Let's see how this candle closes. That's a nice close if it's closing like that. So we have a fractal below that. But still decides to come down. I used to do this a lot. I used to just go on the M1, mark them up, put a trade in, see what happened. Euro Chef has been on a downtrend for so long. Probably wasn't a good idea to do Euro Chef. I'm actually looking for. Good support on Euroshare. I'm looking for a really good support on Euroshare so it can um we can catch the um uh, swing. It'll be a really great swing um as soon as we see the um right candles that we're looking for. Yeah, it's a close below support. So we got to drop. So we would hit stop loss at this point. So basically this trade probably will hit stop loss. And go ahead, hit it. At that point, I'm sure that's that stop loss hit. There you go. Stop loss hit. Throughout the trade. We are one R down. I mean, I didn't take the trade anymore. But look. <laughs> When you're going into the M1, you really have to go and um, really got to go on higher time frames and look what you see what you're looking at. Let's go to um, let's try another one. Um, I don't know what that was illustrating. Uh oh, look at Euro New Zealand. Mm -hmm. All right, we, we can try. We'll try you, Jay. May you, Chef. I say UJ. Let's try you, Chef. All right. So we got a nice W on the 15. Go on down to the M1. See what he's looking at here. Oh, wow. Nice. 
So the moves that I was looking for already happened. Let's go to let's go to another. Mm, let's try G GBP JPY. Dropping. On the downtrend. Okay. Let's mark up our chart. Obviously, that was not, that was respected. Here's the last low there. It was broken. This is the pullback. You see, it's already happening without us. If I were saw this like two, three minutes ago, I would already be in the trade down here for the long position to come back to the low, the retest. So let's just say hypothetically we were in this trade already, especially after, see, after this was trending down so long and we have the trend break that was the trend break candle anyway let's do this just open the trend let's see let's let it retest see what happens is retesting the trend and i like to just get right in i'm aggressive i'm a more aggressive trader i'm gonna get in and let's see if it comes back up and touches these. So we're in profit already. That quick, because I'm I get in. I just get in. So let's see if it breaks this low. It comes back to this high. So we'd already be in profit right now on the M1. And you know, I would have put a higher lot size in so I can really see my money. Mm -hmm. Wales came in and smacked GJ last night. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what happened last night. Do we have news coming up? Well, we had news last night. Mm. A lot of news last night. So it's still retesting the candle. Uh, this this trend got our frackles showing us what it's all about. And we have second rejection. Let's see what happens. We're still in profit. I wonder what US 30 is. This Friday. I don't like trading Friday. I'm not, uh, I'm not in any active trades at this moment. Well, I am in one, but I'm not, I'm not looking in the market for any trades or anything on Fridays. I looked at Forex, uh, Forex factory. Let's go there real quick while we're waiting on our trade. What do we have today? Let's start this over. We had a lot of, we had some European news, some GBP news last night. And then we do have all of these, this Canada, this US, this is not even giving us a specific time when all this is happening. I don't feel like being in some weird trade. Well, trade is still doing good. Still in profit.
I should start doing things like this with my students and put letting them put 0.01 in. You're not gonna really lose any money um, doing 0.01. We'd still be in profit right now. Hopefully this this trade doesn't do what Eurochef did. I want to see one winning trade. But the whole idea, if you don't watch my channel, the whole idea of the market making it very elementary, we try to make the market very elementary, is price does a push up, right? Makes a high, right? What happens next? It exhausts, makes a low. Then it does higher high. Then it does lower low. Then it does higher high. Then it does lower low. And elementary as that sounds, because we think that trading is complicated. We want all these complicated indicators. We want all these complicated theories all this stuff so we can complicate it and blow accounts <laughs> but in essence it's easy price ever does this exhaust made a higher high comes back down to this support we're looking to take the next higher high that's how you look at the market it looks like gj said the hell with my experiment <laughs> and this happens. This is the M1. M1's fast and things happen. Yeah, you know, I'm confident. I'm I'm um I'm a really great trader. I don't I'm I'm not um trying to rub it, you know, I'm humble, definitely humble. But I can say I'm about an 80, 82 to 85 percent trader if I hit, if I put my um um trades uh, close them half out put stop loss at break even i'll be like an 89 but if i don't close half and put my stop loss at break even i'm like an 82 still good see and see so see how it's now it's starting to push up and i didn't realize one thing price did not take out the last low and for some reason something's going on right here if we put the line charts in, you see the sharp move right there, and then it was making sharp moves right there. For some reason, we had something going on there. So if this was the H4, we would have had to wait. How many candles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven H4 candles for this move to happen. That is patience beyond compare. And now our trade is starting to go our way. And there's the first low. Let's see if it blows, but it's going to react right there. We got to see what happens. So it reacted for like a couple of seconds and then it finally shot past it. This would have been a very good binary trade. So let's see if it closes above this low. This previous low. What can't what how many time how much time we got? At this point on H4, I would have been closing half my trade and putting stop losses at break even. Because we do have a wick rejection. That might have uh, looked like it closed above it. So this is the um, retest candle. <clears throat> Let's see what the retest candle has in store. It might come back. Yeah, see, it's going to come back down. But we already closed half our position now. If this was the M1 and, and you put five standards in this and then went up, what is this? 
Mm. It went up, what, 15 pips? Five standards. What's that, $50 a pip? You went up 15? Yes, you made some money. So, retest candle is doing this thing. See what happens. Put the frackles on. So it made a frackle on the retest area. So this might slam down and hit our break even. Might, we'll see. But it did make a frackle let, when frackles uh, show up on um, support and resistance or what I call pullback retest area, depending on the trend, uh, that's a good thing. So if this was an H4, we had an H4 frackle right here, and we'll be uh, looking to see the retracement and see where it retraces it. The way that last candle closed, it closed as if um, there's still bullish momentum. When, that's not a doji. So yeah, it closed like there's still time for bullish momentum, but we'll see. Well, we got this. Okay, let's see how this goes. Obviously, if we do this, there's a sharp area right here. Where is that? Just respect that's making it respect. But we already closed half, so we made we got our profit out of it. And once it comes up here, if it does come up here. And start coming this way, they will start moving our stop loss to the last low. Very great illustration. Nice, let's rock. All right. Seven. This would have really been a great binary trade. All right, so we got a lot of bearish momentum. It looks like it wants to come down and retrace. Let's see what happens. See what happens. How's it looking on the 15? Let's see if we look on the 15. What we got? Yeah, this was a downtrend for real. So it only retraced. So when I'm looking at stuff like this, I can always like go in and um fib it on that. See the retracement. The retracement is 23.6, 23.6 so continuations to continue to the upside. So if it doesn't break to 23, we'll have upside move. Looks like it didn't break to 23. We might have some upside movement. But let's give it a chance. See, it already made a frackle on the 23. If you can see that. And this is how I'd be trading in real life on H4. We'd been already up in this trade, closed out, break even. And I've been sitting here figuring out what's going on. I don't... <clears throat> the chart but yeah it's not breaking at 23 so it might push back up i always say might i never say that something will how would i know it's only probability it wants to break this low it's having a hard time breaking this low this is what i mean this is an illustration for your own eyes what support and resistance really is is these lows and highs now we got, see, so the 23 got respected. So now we have it pushing up now. So it's going to break this area, retest it probably, and come to our target, these structural highs. That candle got to close below that low. I mean, above that um, that low. 
nice wick rejection. That was a beautiful wick rejection. That is to redeem itself. <laughs> so did not close above. Might make an M. Might be a double top and come down and hit our break even. Yeah. Best regards. Oh, okay. There it goes. Trying to, it's trying to break that low. It's trying its hardest. So it broke it. And that, that was the retest candle. The low has been broken. So it's safe to say that we might have a, maybe it didn't, I don't know. It's safe to say if once it breaks and retests it, then we, we will see structural highs back up to here. So there it goes. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get this target hit before this video is over. Mm -hmm. And the market does the same stuff every time, every day, a second. Sucks is Friday. I wish the market was 24-7. Saturday and Sunday be boring. I mean, back testing is cool. The, uh, see, yeah, at this point, we would be doing this. So we would be putting stop loss at the, la the, la the last retracement. So we'll be right here now. I know some traders, uh, before they put it up here, close some more out. And I'm like, uh, I already closed half out. I don't want to close too much more. Let a runner, let a little baby lot size runner run. And I'm like, uh, I don't know if I want to do that. Mm. You see my illustration, and then you see up, exhaust up, exhaust up, exhaust up. Just elementary, but okay. I'm not going to make this video super long. Um, I just wanted to give you an illustration of on the M1, you could do the same setups, whatever setup that you um you go for um the way i trade it doesn't matter what time frame i should be able to trade that same idea on that that chunk down that uh time frame so hopefully you're getting enough information that you need to take your trading to the next level 
And for now, I will see you on the next video. Have a good um, rest of your weekend. See you guys on Monday. Peace.